Isaac Newton ran into his first big challenge when he discovered gravity. As the story goes, he was walking around pondering the mysteries of the universe and was hit by an apple. Oh, the apple fell from the sky to the earth. There must be a force that attracts things together. It's called gravity. Now I just need to figure out how it all works. Okay. We got gravity, we got force. Let's find some equations here. Um. It just so happened that Newton was working at Cambridge University at this time, and he was deeply involved in advanced mathematics. He studied hard and made many other discoveries, but he really didn't really discover anything useful about gravity with the math that he knew. Uh, I just can't get this right. This doesn't work well. However, soon the university was shut down because everybody had the plague, and Newton had to go back and live on a farm. Ah, the plague! Everybody go home! Oh, wow. Maybe I just can figure this out if I work at home. More quiet. Back at the farm, Newton lived basically in isolation. He had nobody to interact with, but also nobody to distract him. Yeah, I have lots of time to do my work without any distraction, but I still can't really figure it out here. He worked and worked. and worked. <laughs> but still, there just wasn't enough freedom with current mathematics to express what he needed to get his gravitation laws working. I know what I'm trying to say, but I can't get the math to support it. So Newton eventually had to come up with new ways to express his mathematics, with much more work, and work, and work, and work. He developed more advanced mathematics so that his physics problems would make more sense. He needed to know about instantaneous rates for his law of universal gravitation. Oh my god, this works! Yeah! And with a little more work, he eventually developed the famous law of universal gravitation. All thanks to calculus. Yes! This is the best invention ever! Who would have thought that something so simple like the rate of change of a function could lead to something as cool as the law of universal gravitation? Oh yeah, I did. What Newton discovered, we now call calculus. We use it in many other fields and it has helped solve many more complicated problems. And it's all thanks to Isaac Newton.